The inability to read or write is a global issue that impacts several communities across the globe. For example, there are 1.3 billion people who live on the African continent. Yet, only 62% of African adults are literate. What indicators or characteristics might be relevant for analyzing this issue? A statistical indicator that can be used to examine this issue is the literacy rate. It reveals the percentage of people in a country who can read and write. What if you wanted to explore possible connections between the literacy rate and a population characteristic? Perhaps hunger is a characteristic that has a connection to literacy. Hunger rates reveal the percentage of people in a country who are undernourished. Here's how you would map this data to help illustrate possible connections. First, start with a base map of the world and focus on the continent of Africa. Next, add the data to the map. The literacy rate data shows the spatial distribution of literacy across the African continent. Then, overlay hunger data to see if there's any connection between hunger and literacy. Analyze the data for possible connections. Places like Chad and Madagascar have low literacy rates and very high percentages of hunger. Conversely, places like Algeria and Egypt have high literacy rates and low percentages of hunger. After analyzing, evaluate and draw conclusions about the data. These observations indicate that hunger and literacy are connected. As hunger rates increase, literacy rates decrease. Examining the patterns and trends revealed by connections between different statistical indicators and characteristics can help uncover what data is most relevant to exploring certain world issues. Mapping data helps people analyze and evaluate the spatial significance of patterns and trends, just like the geographic connections between literacy and hunger.